Okay, take three. <laughs> I thought I would hop on here today and do a quick little review of this book, which is the first book I read in September, which is The Art of Witch by Fiona Horn. So, first off, the cover. It is this luxurious black velvet um, hardcover, which it's actually really fancy. It's um, not what I was expecting, and it's got like gold stamping, so it's uh, very lush, very luxurious. Not something I would expect from a 20 something dollar book, so that is a plus. All right, I wanted to read this book because I heard lots of Australian witches talking about how it was very different from other books that they had read, and of course, it's Fiona Horn, great Australian witchy author. So, I had to take a look. This is a library book because uh, I'm traveling at the moment, and all of the witchy bookshops were out of stock. So <laughs> I was lucky enough to find this in a library that we just happened to be driving past. Um, yeah, so it's a bonus. Okay, now into the book. So it's divided into three parts. The first part is like her talking about her life, how her practice has changed, um, whereas part two is then going into the details of what she does, um, which can be a little bit preachy. Um, there's a lot of stuff like, you know, eating super healthy, eating within, um, two, food, which is only grown within two miles of your, um, where you live, which is impractical for a city, which is, there's definitely no way that there's any food grown within two miles of where I live in inner city Sydney, but, um, yeah, so it's not a perfect book, but I did really enjoy it. So, all right, pros, um, and it is quite a pretty little book the paper's really nice there's lots of little um uh like sort of not quite illustrations or images but like these little stamps through it. it's quite nice all right so okay so pros there's a few things in here which i think you'll appreciate so this one here which is from the sort of like the second part where she's going into detail and a lot of the second part is like little so like here you go judge not other witches the magical community prospers in our in unity our strength lies in honoring and respecting our diversity the witch that points the finger has become a victim of the three fingers pointing back at her and then i also really liked yeah less is more <laughs> Fewer steps equals efficiency. If you can see a way to simplify your practice, then do so. Potency is enhanced by simplicity. So there's lots of little um, sort of bits of wisdom here, and they're all very um, kind of short, almost like little quotes. And then chapter three, so where it says like reference four, it goes into then like these, which is kind of the same kind of style but um in a different part of the book which i have to admit if you're on an ebook that'd get really annoying trying to flip back and forth but on um you know the physical copy of the book i guess you can go okay look reference 10 and then kind of pull it open like that so you see like you know this statement here expands on it in like that um so she goes into like witchy yoga and the eight limb path of physical and moral conduct. Um, so I would probably only recommend this book to people which have read other books on witchcraft. Um, probably not an absolute beginner, but someone that's been reading books or so for at least a year or two. Um, just because there are some things here where she, ref she assumes there's a little bit of prior knowledge. Um, so she goes really into detail about the moral side of yoga, which um, I feel like a lot of people aren't familiar with, and I feel like it would go over the heads of most people that read this. I mean, I have a background in yoga, so I knew a lot of this already. Um, but yeah, there were some parts that I think are not as easy to read. Um, however, you know, if you're interested in um, incorporating yoga and your witchy practice, this is actually probably... Um, quite a good way to do so. Um, so that is only a short section, but I just thought that I should mention that. Okay, so continuing on, um, the takeaway from the book that I got was that she um, very much wants which is to think more about how they consume, how they live, and being less about um, 
buying all the things and more about connecting with the earth and protecting the earth she talks about being guardians of the earth um which is a sentiment that i really appreciate however how i think the book could be improved i think it comes across a little bit preachy um like i said there's a few things there which are just impractical for a lot of people um she talks a lot about being sober from alcohol which um you know that's a personal choice so there's a few things like that which come across as a bit preachy um and I can see why some people wouldn't like that so I would probably have changed that um talks about favorite little quotes and prose from the book what would I give this book a rating out of I feel like I, I mean I did really enjoy it I think everyone should read it it's a really short book it's only a hundred and something pages how long there you go 150 pages not even it's like 140 yeah 143 pages so it's a very short book I devoured it in two days um even then I think it took me maybe a total of like four hours to read it so it's a really short book I think everyone should read it I would give it maybe four stars four out of four and a half stars um because I did really enjoy it but there are parts which I think came across as a bit too preachy but all in all I think it's a good book and I think everyone should read it